Okay, so um, I hope everyone got, got a chance to download the, the, this example file. And, and as well, uh, I think in the folder, there was also this assets folder. And inside there is um, like a little textures that we'll be using today, as well uh, this PDF that I will show you in a bit. And so today, um, yeah, if you open my example file, it'll probably, you know, some of these operator might be hidden. And I did that on purpose because, you know, if you're using laptop or something, uh, you might not want to reveal everything at once because some of them could be quite intense. So, you know, you can just kind of check out one by one uh, if you're not sure. Um, so the structure of um, today's course, so I know we have three hours and um, what I'm plan on doing is like this top three uh, portions. So kind of starting from the basics here and then move on to creating uh, like leaves and flowers. And then, um, and then the biggest, you know, thing I wanted to introduce today is this instancing and, you know, it'll be pretty exciting uh, if we can end up making, you know, some of these artworks. And then at the bottom, um, there are some techniques. And this, you know, uh, it's something, uh, if I have enough time today, you know, I might uh, look at it, but, you know, if not, um, this is some sort of like uh, bonuses as well that, you know, later on uh, you can check out and then have fun with it. Um, yeah, and then this here, this big box, <laughs> will be this L system rules um, that probably, yeah, uh, it's interesting to use the chat option. But yeah, I'm curious, you know, how many of you have done L system um, before? So I know that today's workshop uh, probably have, you know, some people are very beginner. And you know you you might be more advanced, but I try to explain um, so that the beginner person can understand as well. But feel free to let me know if you um, if you think you know I'm moving too fast or um, and feel free to ask questions as well. Um, I will answer you know ne as needed, and I think that's gonna help other people as well. So you can also um, ask questions in Japanese as well. So yeah, let's begin. And this example file we just uh, use as a reference, but today we are gonna start from a uh, clean scene. So if you could open a brand new project and uh, you probably have this default um, operators. So you can select right click and then draw a box and hit delete. So you can make it completely blank canvas. Okay, so uh, with that being said, if you hit tab key and then go to SOP, and there's this L system. And this is going to be what we are using quite a lot today. It's kind of all about this SOP. And uh, let's, um, let's kind of, uh, let me show you what is L system first. So I have a Wikipedia here. And um, yeah, so this is the kind of the, you know, trees that's made with L systems. And L system is, this has been around uh, actually quite a while. Um, this is developed in 1968 by uh, Aristide Lindermeyer. So it stands for this uh, Lindermeyer, uh, his name, and that's why it's called L system. And if you open a, one of the, the PDF that I attached, this algorithmic beauty of plants. This is him. Um, he's cute, isn't he? Uh, yeah, so, and this book is, you know, really amazing. And it's, so, you know, you can see all these examples that, you know, we'll be doing today. Um, basically what it is, is um, it's made out of a, a the rules uh, that consists of alphabets and some uh, symbols, and uh, it's its own kind of system. So it's different from Python or you know other language. It's completely it's uh, its own thing. And uh, so using those alphabets, you could make uh, the portion of the tree, and 
you know, if you look at trees, they are, you know, the smallest parts is also like quite similar in shape to the biggest part of the tree. So they are, you know, like self-repeating patterns, what is called. So how we are gonna kind of mimic that nature is to create, um, using those uh, alphabets, we are gonna create the small parts and then tell it to keep repeating itself. So that's kind of what it is. And, and then Touch Designer, you know, help page, if you look at it, uh, it's implemented into Touch Designer as well. And uh, yeah, so these are the, you know, some of these alphabets and symbols. And it gets, you know, it's not as intuitive. So, um, but uh, yeah, if you look at my example file, I kind of selected, you know, made a selection of um, ones that, you know, this is enough to start. So this will be probably, you know, what we'll be using today. So you can always kind of look at and remember what they mean. Um, well, yeah, with that being said, um, I'm going to start with this snowflake example. So I know uh, we want to, you know, start making it, but let me show you um, in my paint. So the first rules that we want to run is this F. And F basically makes a line, okay? So if you do F, it's gonna make that just straight line. And then there's plus and there's minus. And then plus turns right and then minus turns left. So, and uh, this is called turtle operations. So if you imagine, you know, like the animal, you are turtle moving this way. And at this point, you are gonna turn, like turn to the right. So this way. So that's F plus F. So plus, you know, then this angle here. And this is decided by um, this L system SOP has this value page and there's this angle. So it depends on what you specify here. So if you change it, you can already see that um, it's changing already these angles. Um, yeah, so let me go back to my paint. So let's say, you know, our angle is 60. And if we do say minus F after that, then, you know, it was supposed to go straight, but you will turn left. So it goes this way. So it's here is 60, right? So it may basically makes this line. So, well, let's take a look, right? So if you make it viewer active. And, uh, you know, this part, so there are, you know, okay, let me explain this, uh, you know, what's in this here. So there's context ignore, uh, F plus minus. And this one um, is, you know, just ignore this, this is, uh, you know, cause this is what we be using all the time. So don't, you know, just do, um, how do I say? It's just ignoring, but basically, you know, this part you never change it. So, you know, just so you know. And then premise here, and this is something that happens at the beginning of the creation. And like I said earlier, uh, L system is to make itself repeat over these generations. So, you know, when it goes back to zero generation. So at the beginning, this, whatever you put it here will happen. And then these are the rules. And then this is a little complicated right now. So let's just delete, delete, yeah. So let's type in F and see what happens. Um, sometimes I like to make it viewer active and then hit P. That'll bring up our display options, and then you can turn on these points. So it makes two points and a line. So now, if you go to plus F, so it turned this way, 
and remember uh, we have an angle here. Um, it's at 30 right now, so let's make it to 60. Okay, and then if we do minus f, so it'll go, you know, kind of like how I drew, right? And uh, from here, to make the snowflake pattern, what I want to do is to, so instead of go, you know, like that, I want to make all this and then this and then this and like that. So here uh, it will be F plus F and then we turn twice here. So minus minus F and then plus F. <laughs> So we just add minus minus F here. And then that's three plus F. So this will be the, we, are, we just made the smallest part of the, um, the snowflake. And from here, what we want to do is to Replace this each, each lines with same shape. So this one gets like this, and then it gets like that, this, and that. And to do this, uh, we are gonna tell it that. So basically, you can cut this one, and then at the beginning, we just have a line. And then we're gonna write the first rule and replace that line with what we just um, made. And if you go to these generations, and if you grow them, it'll keep repeating itself, right? So let's put it to three. If I zoom in, you know, let's look at this part. So this part is essentially, you know, the very beginning that we are created. But by telling, you know, this going that the generation goes up, it keeps repeating itself. So this, you know, is a fractal pattern. And um, yeah, so we want to do this, you know, it's just a straight line right now, but we want to do this over, you know, a triangle. So well, let's make it, uh, yeah, well, it's okay. So we're gonna make a triangle like that. And then, you know, each one is F, right? And then, so to first we need to, in the premise, we, are, we want to specify this triangle. So I know this is angle triangle, but let's just make it easy. So go straight up and then go down and then come back. So that would be F and we are working with 60. So we want to turn twice to, you know, to 120 degrees. So that would be plus, plus F. And I do the same thing here. So plus, plus F. So at the beginning, we do F plus plus F plus plus F. And this is actually going to the inwards. It's actually cool. <laughs> but um, yeah, the reason is, so we drew, you know, to turn right first, and then our line goes like this, so it's going inwards. But instead we go, Outwards. So we are going to replace this with minus plus plus. So basically flip the direction. So change that to minus and plus plus minus. Yeah. So that is what I want to do for this snowflake example. Let's go to four generations and yeah, today um, 
be careful going up on these generations. It's easy to, um, this adds points uh, quite a lot, even after one generation. So if it does that, your computer might freeze. So when you, you know, be careful about um, moving up in generations and just go slowly today and be mindful, you know, about the point number. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's how you make this, you know, famous cock uh, snowflake pattern. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, so this is called um, edge rewriting. It's, you know, each one F is essentially uh, edge and then it's rewriting those edges and repeating. So um, let's see what we can do with it. So um, let's make a new L system again. Yeah, and then uh, we are gonna do just F to start with. And let's try F plus F plus F and see what we get. I'll bring down the generations again. Let's, let's make it to one for now. And for this angle, uh, let's make it to 60. And uh, yeah, so see like this is kind of looks like a part of the hexagon, right? So what if we, you know, keep going? You know, maybe you can imagine it all. So you can make, you know, just simple geometric shape. And so what should we replace that with, you know, by? And this is where it gets really fun. I'm gonna ask you guys to just don't think too hard. All you can use is F and plus and minus. So you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing because I'm not, I'm just kind of improvising right now. But what if we do F minus minus F plus F? Oh, and this, it's important that it's a capital F and then it matters, so minus F, I don't know. Oh, that's what I got. <laughs> I hope you got something else. And uh, again, be careful, but let's bring it up the generations. And then as it does it, since this is using these angles, it's kind of, you know, rot keep rotating, right? And this, if you turn off these continuous angles, it'll be more like kind of, you know, in this case, more geometric, it might be cool this way. Yeah, so that's, that's something. And this is kind of a, you know, you can never go wrong. It kind of always makes some interesting patterns as long as you are just using you know, these guys. You, some of you might did FF. You know, that means it keeps two, it goes two steps, so one, two lines, you know, so it's, it makes a longer line. Um, but yeah, so, you know, let's say that I like that. And another thing you can also change is these angles, right? So, and you know, it could look messy, but if you use something like 45, let me tell this FF. Yeah, so, you know, that's 45 degree, maybe 120. Oh, so I got a triangle. Yeah, I guess I like 60, yeah. Yeah, so let's say I, uh, did that I like it. <laughs> and then, you know, it's interesting to render it. So right click this applet and then put this into a geometry. And then to render it, we need a camera. And also render top. And we need to give some kind of material to this guy. So let's use a line, line material. And then if you turn on this display flag on, you can see it on your background. And uh, yeah. So it's cool, right? Um, you know, you might be just happy the way it is, but 
what if I wanted to make it square for the you know Instagram and just make it 1280 by 1280 and you know I you know I'm quite bothered but it's not centered in my canvas and also the problem you know is if I start animating this one it's kind of you know if I wanted to show all these patterns it's just kind of scaling up and you know you don't want to move the camera each time right so yeah um, very easily we can transform this one and for the second tab you can put a box and if you plug this in to the second input of transform sub and go to this post page and this post translate x we change the reference input and all of them reference input reference input and then this post scale as well we do reference and yeah so now if you move these generations you know it's always same size it fits fitting in this size of this box and uh, let's go to the camera and change your view settings from perspective to also graphic view if you make it to one it should perfectly fit in your canvas i think the line could be a little skinnier on um, where is that i think it's i think it's this one yeah maybe i do one, one, one point five. yeah let's say that i like it so put this uh, over there and yeah maybe you know just uh what if i wanted to oh so that's that's kind of cool i was gonna do more poppy animation but you know what yeah let's just try lfos um let's so go to lfos chop and follow the lfo with mass chop and then put that into a now and LFO make the frequency like 0.15 and then in the mass job we're gonna do range to minus one to um yeah so we're gonna control this generation so let's do don't do too much <laughs> um, yeah I do four yeah I'm gonna keep it for four Position. Okay, select your L system sub and go to your null and make it viewer active and hover over this channel one and then drag to this box, you know, the generations and release your mouse and do chop reference. Oh, it's maybe a little too fast. So I will make your frequency little less. Yeah, like 0 0.08. <laughs> so it's a little little wiggly and a little weird, but uh, yeah, so you know, this could be something and you can play with like different colors and so on and so on. Um, it's, yeah, it's a little, you know, a little abrupt. <laughs> But uh, let's see what the example I did with the in the example file. Yeah, I think it's this one. I think it was came out a little nicer. <laughs> but yeah, so this one too. Um, yeah, this also I didn't really think too hard. And actually, this happened when I was actually trying to follow one of these, you know, fractal examples like this one. And I was kind of challenging myself see if I can recreate that myself and you know what you know you make a mistake and it actually starts to look more interesting that you know it's not an example so i highly you know encourage to just play around and yeah so that was uh, it for this 
you know, fractal example. Um, yeah, so let me double check if I'm seeing the chat box. So it's easy to lose the chat box. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay. So yeah, now I see all the comments, guys. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is great. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So we are gonna move on to the next example, which will be creating this branching system. And uh, it looks, you know, already pretty complicated, but all we need again is um, the similar thing with just like one new addition to it. So let me show you. So this square bracket, this will make a branch. So, you know, if you do F bracket plus F, what's gonna happen is F and it all, you know, it's plus F, so it goes this way. And if you put F after that, it will come back, you know, not come back, but it's branching out, you know, this is the bracket branch here and then this is that one f and then if you do another bracket and then minus f and that will go this way and then you do f at the end like that yeah so yeah that's i hope that's simple enough and Oh, that's a good question, uh, Nirav. Um, sorry, I was, I for completely forgot. Some people might be wondering. Um, yeah, sorry. Some people might be wondering a, the background being not black, right? Um, thank you so much for that question. Um, if you want to edit and preferences, and if you go to top page, uh, the viewer background, I just have it set to black and um, I suppose it's checkerboard by default, right? Yeah, so sorry, you know, maybe most of you might have been seeing this one and yeah, it's, you know, it's just showing alpha channel as uh, either checkerboard or black and yeah, today, you know, um, we don't, we don't really do too much uh, deal, you know, deal a lot of like compositing or like alpha channel things. So, um, you know, uh, especially for me, it's good to kind of keep it black. That way it's easier for you guys to see it. And you can do that as well. And uh, yeah, just as a side note, you know, when you are in black mode, you can still check your alpha channel if you do viewer active and then hit A. Well, <laughs> this is black and white, so it's just, you know, it doesn't look like it changed. And you see this uh, A. So that's, you know, you can still check your alpha channel uh, without the checkerboard. Yeah, thank, thank you for that. And then, yeah. So, yeah, this branching, um, yeah, we are still in this like uh, fractal world. You know, we are gonna use, so this is the smallest part that we are gonna create. And, you know, what if, you know, each F replaces with this whole thing, right? So that's, that's what we are going to do next. So go back to, oh, sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, since we just put everything in this scene, right? Um, let's select all of the operators. And then, uh, just, you know, can be on top of any operator, but like on this network, right click. And look for collapse selected. That will make a uh, sorry base component for us. So we can call it fractal and kind of like my example file. If you wanted to see, you know, I'll do a preview for you, you can just put an out top. If you go up, um, yeah, it shows up because by default, this command page operator viewer says dot slash out one. So it's got one inside. 
and then look for out one top. Or it can be anything, it can be as, you know, soap, and it just shows up here. So it's just kind of convenient that way. Yeah, so that, that was our first example. Um, let's make a new base component. All right. And then, yeah, so let's go ahead and name this to branch. We go inside and let's make L system soap. Um, yeah, by the way, I might, you know, maybe I should have uh, went through what's there first, a little backwards, but, um, you know, in this geometry page, there's a type, either skeleton or tube. You know, if you do it to tube, it becomes actually, you know, there's a thickness to it. And this tube, you know, parameter page, you can change, you know, how much divisions it has and so on. Um, but it doesn't look that great. Then it also has a lot of points. So um, more, most of today's example, I kind of stick to this skeleton. And yeah, and then the value page, you know, we kind of looked at the, uh, the angles and then there's a function page. And this page, you know, I also don't really need to touch it. So it'll be, you know, geometry value page, probably that's where we'll be looking at. Yeah, so make this rules viewer active. And again, we'll delete them. So let's start with F. Right, so, you know, so we want to, f is equal to, so this is the rule we are gonna create, f is equal to this. And then make sure you lower your generations first. Let's do one. Okay, so type in f, is equal to, so we go f plus f and then f and bracket, sorry, square bracket, minus f, close. Actually, I think since, you know, at the creation we go one up towards, so delete this one. Actually, never mind. We we want that one. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. In if we go to two generations, yeah. Yeah. So this is you know how it works. And again, you know, this is the smallest portion. And you know, you go, you look at anywhere, and it's always, you know, repeating the same shape. And let's look at some uh, angles here. So it's 28, and if um, you know, if we change that, yeah, so that will change sort of, you know, all of these angles, which this plus and minus, you know, it's going to turn, right? So it's turning whatever these degrees that you specify here. And yeah, maybe do 40 for this case. And uh, yeah, this kind of looks like a plant or something, but you know, it's sort of flat. So I want to now, you know, next rule that I want to add it to this one is to uh, rotate along this y-axis so that, you know, some of the branch might go to Z and like, you know, plus Z so that it becomes three-dimensional. And for that, uh, let's look at my paint again. We're going to use slash and this will roll it's a roll. Uh, Counterclockwise, there's, you know, forward slash too, but I think we're gonna just stick to this one today. And so it's counterclockwise. So if we, if we do 
here at the beginning, then every time it grows, so it kind of, you know, rotates each time. So yeah, let's try that. So put it at the beginning. So if you look at kind of from the top, um, yeah, some of the branches facing, you know, different direction, right? And then, you know, if you, it's hard to see from the backside, you know, it's kind of sort of, you know, kind of gets dimmer. Um, I like to just hit, make sure you're in the viewer active and then hit W or a wireframe. And then, you know, it's easier to see some more flat shading. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, so now though, this, you see these angles <laughs> also controlling all of them. So it's controlling how much it rolls as well as how much your branch, you know, goes up and down. And, you know, what if you want to some different value there? So what you can do for that kind of thing is to, um, I kind of run out of space there, but you put a bracket uh, and then here inside, you can put like uh, some angles and we're gonna use this magic number in uh, like plant world. Uh, it's 137.5 and that's supposed to be give, you know, how like a lot of plants uses these angles and maximize the, you know, I guess the amount of the sun that they can get as well as the space. And so it's, it tends to look natural um, so, so we are going to include this one in here, okay? And then this bracket um, is not just for this role. You can also do like F, you know, for example, this F size is based on this step size. So this is 0 0.1. So, you know, right now this is 0 0.1 in the, you know, scale. Um, you know, but you could maybe some of them, you know, you could say that, you know, I want that one to be like half, you know, or more. Um, so yeah, this, you can use also the plus as well, you know, maybe you don't want to use 45, but you might want to do like 20. So you can specify if you use this bracket. Yeah, uh, I like the question. Can we add noise to make them have a natural movement? I love that. Yeah, I think uh, we can get to that later when we start animating them. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, so here, 137.5. So yeah, this rotation is no longer affected by this one, right? The roll. Okay, yeah. And but only this other, you know, other things are still using this angle here. Yeah, okay, so I hit H. And you know, like, like I said, you know, maybe, maybe you want some of the branch to be like 0 0.02, you know, maybe short. You know, well, some of them are really short, not like, you know, crazy. <laughs> um, we're not going to do that, but yeah. So I think uh, this is kind of, you know, in a good place. Um, and yeah, geometry. Yeah, so since it's you know, using this slash and rotate, so it's kind of, uh, you know, it keeps uh, you know, rotating and rotating as the generations goes up. So, 
and then from here um yeah so now you know now you know f let's uh let's look at our list yeah so you know f here and you do the branch and then turn right and left and that's kind of kind of like you know get us enough to do this example and by introducing just a yeah, one more, um, one more rules. And let me see. Um, yeah, yeah, we need to do this one first. Yeah. <laughs> so it's too exciting to do uh, fun things, but uh, I want to get through this one. So yeah, I hope, uh, yeah, how's, yeah, how's everyone doing? I'm just kind of curious. Sorry, my chat box is hard to, yeah. Keep it around. Oh, somebody crashed the system. That's great. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, let's save this. Um, not this one, but uh, your, your same file. You know, if you are doing already, that's great. But I'm going to just, uh, you know, put it. Okay. Yeah, please save, you know, whenever you want to. Um, it's easy to crash. And yeah, like I said earlier, if you follow this with outsop, then you will have, you know, now it's a sop, so you can even move it and, uh, you know, hit W and same thing. But yeah, that's kind of how I made my example scene file. So, you know, it's always nice to get like a little thumbnails for what you have in there. And yeah, it makes this output and, you know, you don't have to do this, but yeah. But it's not really because of that I'm doing, I just wanted to see it, but yeah. Alternatively, if you don't wanna see it, actually, you know, some people are more organized and you know, you could just make a now. And you know, sometimes I do this, just call it out one. And yeah, so now it's kind of clean, you know, with the, you don't have that uh, output. So yeah, maybe that's nicer. Um, yeah, so, well, um, I think I want to do, hmm. yeah, I want to do one more example and then we take a break. Yeah, let's do that. So make a base. Okay, and this one. What is the command of the menu blue? What is the command of menu blue? Uh, Sorry, um, Maria, I, uh, I don't understand the question, but maybe somebody could help me or if you could uh, explain a little bit in detail. The menu command always press tab several times. Oh, yeah. Dimitri, are you looking at this one? Maybe? If you are, you are looking for, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. Please ask any questions today. And uh, it's, you know, I am sure some more people are wondering too. So if you just click elsewhere, hit tab key, that'll open up, up create dialog. And, you know, there are different tabs, right? Um, and the top is this blue one, you know? You can click with your mouse, or you can keep hitting tab. It'll go through it. And then, you know, you can also type in L system, and you can hit enter. Yeah, you can search your, by your operator name. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. Oh, I think it's also good timing to show. Yeah, especially for beginner, you know, people, if you select your health system op or any op and go to help and then do operators, go to operator snippets. It takes a second, but it will open, wait for it, uh, example that, you know, touch designer gives you. And the health system has one example and it, it's quite cool. It's, crazy animated, you know, 
<laughs> crazy trick. And yeah, I always recommend to, you know, look through what's out there. And there are incredibly helpful things in here. And to be honest, when I was uh, maybe beginner, like first couple of years, I didn't even bother going here. And I kind of regret that I didn't. So yeah, whenever you are dealing with something new, I know the help page is a little boring, right? It's more documents and words, but you know, there's already interesting examples in there. Yeah. So yeah, we are gonna move on to this next one here. Let's call it the node and we go dive in. So hit tab key and type in L system, hit enter. You don't have to type in whole L system. I just typed the L, you know, L S Y. And yeah, bring the generation. Let's make it to two is fine. And I think I need to go to the paint again to introduce this uh, new rule. So by far, by far, you know, all we've been doing is replacing F with more F with plus or minus, right? And that method is called edge rewriting. It's just the, you know, how it's called. And with that, you know, all you get is kind of just always, you know, that's kind of always, always this, you know, every part gets smaller and smaller. And it, it, it makes it very complicated, but um, it'll be a problem if we wanted to make a very simple, maybe, Straight. Simple, most simple, you know, flower like this and with leaves. Yeah, so let's say that we want to make this. And um, the problem is, you know, that this is the F here. We, you know, we want F to just stay like that and don't bother it afterwards. So what we can do is called, um, we're gonna use X, and this is node rewriting. That's why uh, we call it a node for this um, chapter. So what we are gonna do is uh, we do our premise will be F X, and this X can be other letters like A B. A, as long as it's not F, it's fine. So. As a starter, we are going to use F. So after F, so basically so this X is like, it's just a placeholder, you know? It's like a null of touch designer. Okay, so at here, it's X, but it's nothing, right? And we call it X is equal to. So that would be branch to the right and then go up and branch to the left and then go up. So that will create up to here. So this portion is X. And at the end of this, right here, I will tell it to do the same thing again, like this. As the generation grows, it, you know, we sort of like a feedback loop, we self repeat itself. Um, yeah, so that's what we are gonna do. Okay, make sure your generation is low. And our premise will be fx. And you see nothing happened yet. So x is equal to, so branch out 
plus x okay, f and then go up and then ground to top three to the left so minus f bracket and f and the x at the end yeah so now if you change your generations yeah it will keep growing and let's put leaves I, I don't know why but this is the part I enjoy the most um, yeah so our first leaf is here so for the leaf we use J and where we want to put J is so we branch out so it's right here F J F right here F J and yeah let's go back to touch designer so if you hover over these inputs input zero says leaf J input the second is K the third is M the last one is for something else. So basically you have these three uh, different leaves or flowers that you can plug in. And you can do actually more than that, but um, I'll show you the example later. So make a circle sort, and then plug your circle into the first input. And uh, nothing happens because we haven't told to put J there. Yeah, let's make it to, again, viewer active and hit W. Um, make our circle smaller, smaller in the radius here. You can middle click this over the radius. If you do that, this number pops up. You can go either up or down as you hold your middle mouse. Um, go to point one and then drag it to the left. Yeah, you can, you know, type in but this is kind of nice to, you know, I will what you like. So say 0.3. Yeah, so that's good. And yeah, maybe, you know, at the end, right? We want a flower at the end. So let's see the second input is K. It's sensitive, but you know, it can be anything. Um, so at the top, that would be at the end, K. And let's make a sphere. And then put this into the second input. Make your sphere like a little smaller. Yeah, so now you have a flower. And yeah, so, you know, might as well try this M um, instead of maybe, you know, A there, we can do M to the left side. So you can do, you know, box. Yeah, like box, smaller again. So, yeah, this will make this fun, you know plant growing <laughs> and yeah sometimes I like to you know just just when you're working it's sometimes it's nice to see a color so I right click this circle at it and then type in point um oh yeah um okay somebody's circle did not show up somehow um, I'm wondering where it hasn't showed up, either in this L system or right here. Um, let's see how I may circle if you hit tab and then make a circle, right? It should show up. Maybe try make it viewer active and then, oh, in L system, gotcha. Did you plug in? to the first input. And then I also did, since 
this is a leaf J input. Make sure your code here, you added the J in this here. So otherwise, you know, it's not going to show up. And even if you did, you don't see it. Oh, okay, you got it. Yeah, another thing I thought of is, you know, maybe it's just hard to see, like I said. Um, yeah, if it's annoying, you can do right click after that and attribute create and then compute normals. So that'll give us normals and, you know, we see it. But uh, yeah, I just quickly put in wireframe mode. Cool. So in the point up, um, we can change color by adding color and we make it green and then we can copy and paste this. So plugging a sphere to the point two, box to the point three. And then when we want to replace this one with this one, you can either you know, click this output to the point two and then you can either go here directly or you can alternatively hover over this you know, uh, wire that you want to replace and it'll become yellow. So you can click that there. And I, I really like doing that. So here. And um, let's see. So this point two, let's change this color to purple. Oh, it's a flower, so make it more bright orange. And the box, maybe I make it red. Yeah, so this is just, you know, easier when you are working where all each, you know, leaves are located at. And, um, yeah, so, I know that an ARIA example, you know, we used slash to roll. So I want to do that for this one as well. Um, yeah, again, so, you know, if, if we delete this left side branches, I'm gonna delete another F. So I, uh, right now I have X is equal to bracket plus FJ and F, X, K, right, so all the left side is gone. So maybe, you know, let's connect that, yeah. And I just wanted to show how that one works. And at the beginning, if you do slash 137.5, yeah, so it'll rotate um, that way and uh, yeah, maybe, you know, if it's a leaf, right now it's a circle, but I think that if, you know, it's uh, centered in the, in the, this branch, so we can easily change the spheres center up in Y. You can copy this, you know, reference this radius, copy parameter, right click, copy parameter, and then right click, paste the reference. So that'll put on, you know, um, at the top 